joining me today. What you need today is just a place to lay down and some kind of long strap or you could even use a scarf, a long sock, um, a towel, just something like that. So um, you can take whatever you have and just set it by the side and then we're gonna start off laying down. <clears throat> so go ahead and lay on your back. Extend your arms long, extend your legs long. Reach your fingers away from each other, reach your toes away from each other, extend the rib cage away from the hips, gently tuck your chin down towards your throat, and just come into a nice full body stretch. Just take a nice inhale in and lengthen everything out. And then when you're ready to exhale, just relax the body down for a moment. Just begin to bring some awareness to your breath. You don't need to change your breath in any way unless you want to. But when you're ready for an inhale in again, just take a full body stretch, lengthen everything out. And then when you're ready for that exhale again, just relax the body down a little bit. Good. Let's go ahead and bring our knees into our chest. Hands can find anywhere you want on the legs and just hug those knees in, just move them around here a little bit. Massaging your back down towards the earth and gently taking the neck and the head side to side. So your knees may be together, they might be apart, they may be close to your chest or away from your chest. Whatever feels good here for you just to move your body around is where I want you to go. And then if you're moving the neck and the head side to side, just slowly bring the neck and the head back to center. To bring those knees center, and we're gonna set our left foot on the ground. Bend your left knee, set your left foot on the ground. I want you to take that strap or towel or sock or whatever you have and just hook it underneath the balls of the foot. So trying to stay away from the arch, so more towards the balls of the foot. Extend that right leg up high to the sky, slide your hands down your strap and just let your elbows rest on the earth and just go ahead and extend that right leg up to the ceiling. So you might choose to stay here. You might pull on that strap a little bit. Your knee might be bent a lot. Wherever you're at, you just straighten that right leg, pressing through the heel without locking the knee. And just be here for a moment, relax in the shoulders. Again, awareness on your breath. Pausing here for a moment. And then we're gonna take that strap in our right hand, both sides of the strap in our right hand. Left knee's gonna go to the left, right leg's gonna go to the right. And you can let that right elbow touch the earth. So you're just gonna press through that right heel. Your left hand might be out to the left or your left hand might also hold onto that strap. And you can press to that heel, maybe bend your right elbow, pull on that right leg a little bit. Again, nothing should be painful, nothing should hurt. But if you feel tension in the back of that right leg or even the inner thigh, that's okay. But again, nothing should be painful. If it is, I want you to back out of that. So just pause here for a moment as you breathe, supporting your body any way you need to here. And then when you're ready, very gently, that right leg's gonna go back up to the ceiling, left knee comes in, left leg goes long. Take that strap in your left hand, both sides. Right arm can go up to the side, right leg is gonna go all the way over to the left, okay? Now your left elbow's on the ground. Maybe your right hand also holds onto that strap for support. You're gonna press through that right heel and maybe you bend your left elbow and lift that right leg up a little bit. Again, if you're tight at all, in the outside of your right leg, you're gonna know this, but I don't want anything to be painful. So if anything hurts, you back out of it. Otherwise, if there's some tension there, see if you can breathe through that, see if you can work through that. So just another moment or so just to be right here. And then when you're ready, very gently, right leg's gonna go back up towards the ceiling. Hand. Both hands on that strap. Left leg can be long or you can bend that left knee again. Slide your hands down the strap. And one more time, just pause here. Elbows touch the earth. Gently tuck your chin towards your throat. Roll your forehead up towards that right leg a little bit. Just be here for a moment, pressing through that right knee. A little gentle chin tuck down. And then slowly we release the upper body down. You bend your right knee. Take that strap off. Set it to the side, just take a full body stretch and don't be alarmed if your right leg is a little bit longer than your left leg. We'll even that out here in just a moment. And then relax the body down. Go ahead and bend the knees again, set the feet on the earth. This time, that left knee's gonna come in towards our chest, grab a hold of that strap again. Hook that strap underneath the bottom of your left foot closer to the balls of your foot. 
Straighten that left leg up, slide your hands down that strap. And we'll do the same things just on this left side. So relax the shoulders, unclench the teeth, press through that left heel. Maybe you pull on that strap a little bit more. <clears throat> if not, don't worry about it. Maybe that left knee is bent a lot. You just try to press through that left heel without locking the knee. And again, just be here for another moment. Relaxing the shoulders, unclenching the teeth. And then we're gonna release that just a little bit. We're gonna take that strap in our left hand, both sides in our left hand. Right knee drops to the right, left leg goes to the left. Right arm can go up to the side or right hand can also hold on to that strap. And you're just pressing through that left heel. Feeling maybe tension in the inner thigh, back of that left thigh a little bit. Maybe you bend that left elbow and that left leg comes up a little bit more. Maybe you need to release a little bit, that's fine. Letting that left elbow touch the ground to help support that left leg holding onto that strap. So just another moment just to be right here. And then when you're ready, very gently, left leg's gonna come right back up to the ceiling. Bring that right knee in, right leg goes long, strap goes in the right hand. Left arm is going to go out to the side. Left leg goes across the body to the right side. So that right elbow can touch the ground. Press through your left heel. And maybe that left hand also holds onto that strap if that feels more supportive for you. And again, just breathe here for a moment. And again, knowing you, <laughs> you know how that outside of that left leg feels. So just take it to where it feels okay for you. Maybe bending the elbow a little bit. Maybe backing off a little bit. Just another moment to be right here, pressing through that left heel, relaxing the shoulders. And then when you're ready, very slowly, we're gonna bring that left leg back up to the ceiling. Right leg can stay long on the ground, or you can bend that knee again. Strap in both hands, slide your hands down that strap, elbows touch the earth, relax the shoulders. Gently tuck your chin towards your throat, roll your upper body up towards that left leg, if that feels okay for your body. So just be here for a moment as you breathe. Relax the shoulders, unclench the teeth. And now slowly roll the upper body down. Gently bend your left knee, bring it in toward your chest. Take that strap down by the side. Find that full body stretch again. So reach your legs long, reach your arms long. Extend the rib cage away from your hips. Spread your fingers and toes. And then gently relax the body down. Let's go ahead and bend the knees, set the feet on the earth. Bring the arms down by the sides of the body. We're going to slowly roll over <clears throat> onto one side and then from there we're going to go on to our hands and knees. From our hands and knees we're going to shift back into a child's pose. So reach your arms long in front of you. Let your forehead rest on the earth and just pause here for a moment as you breathe. Now we're going to take a side lateral stretch of our spine. So we're going to walk our arms over to the left side of the room. So you might lift the forehead and chest up a little bit. Walk the hands off the mat to the left side. Relax the neck and the head down. Now your backside might be close to your heels or you maybe you're uplifting higher. Wherever you're at is just fine. Bring that right pinky finger away from your right hip. Relax the neck and the head down. And then very gently here, we're gonna walk it back to center. We're just gonna go right to the other side. So walk the hands off the mat to the right side of the room. Press your hips towards the left side. Relax the neck and the head here and reach that left pinky finger away from your left hip. And just reach here for a moment and then let, allow the body to relax down. Slowly walk those hands back to center. From here, we're gonna find our tabletop, our hands and knees position. So shoulders, elbows, and wrists are stacked. Knees are right below your hips. Okay, I want you to look down towards the ground. We're gonna go back and forth between our cat and our cow pose to stretch out our chest, our belly, and our back. So I want you to pause here for an inhale. And then as you exhale, round your back up towards the sky. Inhale into that cow pose. Allow the belly to soften, tailbone and heart lift. You can look down forward or up. Exhale back into that cat. Inhale into that cow. Soften the elbows, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, back into that cat. Inhaling into that cow, last one here. 
And then exhale back into your tabletop, your neutral spine, right where we started. So we're gonna take that left arm and just reach it forward, then reach it up to the sky. So again, a little bit of a torso twist here, stretch through the belly, through the arms. Now take that left arm and thread it underneath that right arm. Shift your hips back, let the left side of your head touch the mat. So I want you to let the left side of your head touch the earth. And you're gonna bring that left shoulder blade away from your spine a little bit to take a stretch between the shoulder blades. And just relax here for a moment, shoulders away from the ears. And then when you're ready, very gently, we're gonna unthread that left arm. So unthread it, reach it right back up, reach it forward and take it down. Good. Take that right arm, reach that right arm forward, reach it up, and just be right here for a moment. Now take that right arm, thread it underneath that left arm. Shift your hips back. Relax the right side of your head onto the mat, bringing that right shoulder blade away from your spine. And again, just be here for a moment as you breathe. Like everything else, nothing should be painful, but if you're feeling a stretch somewhere, that's good. Hopefully between the shoulder blades a little bit. And then when you're ready, very gently, we're gonna unthread that right arm, reach it right back up towards the sky, reach it right back up, bring it forward and down towards the ground. All right, you're gonna find that strap again. So I'm gonna give you an option for this strap right here. So if you can clasp the hands in your back, I want you to clasp the hands. If that doesn't work for you, take that strap or your sock or whatever it is you're holding on to. And all you need to do is sit here like this. If it doesn't work sitting on your backside or your heels like this, just sit however it feels good for you. And you can choose to stay here or maybe you come on down. You roll from the forehead onto the top of the head, lift your backside up and reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So again, you might be holding onto that strap or maybe you're clasping your hands together and you reach your arms up. So a great stretch for the chest, for the front of the shoulders. Just be here for another moment wherever you are. If you're in this little inverted position or if you're seated, that's fine. Now, wherever you're at, release your hands to your lower back. Release it down. Bring your torso back up. If it's not up, set that strap down, okay? And we're gonna stretch the front of the thighs a little bit. So we're gonna find our hands and knees position. And then we're gonna take that right leg and step that right leg up, okay? From here, I want you to inch your left knee back a little bit. And I want you to take that right knee in your hips and just shift forward. But I'd still like you to have access to see your front toes, okay? So that front knee should be over the ankle or maybe even a little bit past back towards your torso. So hands can stay on the ground here. You bring your hands to your thighs, whatever feels good for you. We're stretching the back leg, that left thigh, the front of the thigh, and into our hip flexor. So just pause here for a moment as you breathe, relax the shoulders, unclench your teeth, and then very gently lower your hands, your torso back down. You're gonna inch that right leg back. You're gonna take that left leg and step it forward however you can get it there. If you need to use your hands to get it there, there's no shame in that. Now just take those hips and shift them forward, okay? So again, I want you to be able to see all your left toes, knee either over the ankle or even back towards your hips a little bit. Hands can stay on the earth, hands can go to that left thigh, but we're letting that right hip sink forward and just pause here for a moment as you breathe. This is uncomfortable underneath that back knee. You can always um, double up the mat or put a little towel there or something like that to help give a little bit of padding there. Just another moment again, just to be right here, stretching the front of that right thigh and then slowly we'll release it down. Use your hands to help inch that left leg back. Good. I'm gonna take a brief child's pose, so just shift everything back for a moment. Relax the forehead down to the ground. And then slowly slide your arms back towards your body, round through your back, and then just take a seat. So I want you just to sit down right here. You can sit any way you want. This also works sitting, uh, sitting on a chair too. So we're just gonna take that right arm, reach it up, touch our back. Left hand's gonna find that right elbow and you're gonna push your right elbow into your hand here a little bit, okay? So we're not pushing, 
or pulling on anything. Just be here for a moment as you breathe. And then we're just going to change sides. So just take those arms up, take that left arm back, find your right hand on that left elbow. And again, we're not pulling on that left elbow. In a way, we're kind of pushing that left elbow into that right hand a little bit. So just a little bit of a push of our elbow into our hand, stretching out the back, the upper part of our arms, our triceps. Again, just be here for a moment as you breathe. And then we're gonna slowly release that down. Good, take a few moments to roll through your shoulders. Change direction of those shoulder rolls. Good. Relax your arms down and again, you can sit any way you want. I just want you to bring your left ear down towards your left shoulder. So a little stretch of the neck, unclenching your teeth. You might even close your eyes here. And then gently bring the neck and the head back to center. We'll let that right ear go down towards our right shoulder. Relax your shoulders down again, unclench your teeth. Just be here for a moment as you breathe. And then slowly bring the neck and the head center. We're gonna allow our chin just to gently go down towards our throat. So as if our forehead is feeling heavy, relax it down. Just be here as you breathe. And then slowly bring the neck and the head right back up. And if it feels okay for you here, allow your chin to reach up. Steve, move out of the way. And yeah, you gotta move out of the way. Reach your chin up towards the sky. It's a little bit of chin up towards the sky. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, relax the shoulders up, clench the teeth. And then slowly bring the neck and the head center. And then we're gonna look gently towards that right shoulder. If it feels okay, maybe add a little bit of a torso twist here. Left hand on that right leg, right hand behind you. And then slowly just unwind, bring it back to center. Pause here in the middle, look over that left shoulder. So again, if it feels all right, maybe add a little bit of a torso twist. Left hand behind you, right hand touches that left leg. So be here as you breathe. And then slowly, just a little bit of an unwind, bring it back to center. Good. And again, just taking another moment or so just to roll those shoulders up back and down take them up and around the other direction and then just relax them down and just for a moment here let's just take an inhale reach our arms out reach them up long torso exhale hands through your heart center down and out again inhale up and exhale one more time, inhale, reach your arms out nice and wide, reach them up, and exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Release your arms down, and thank you. Nice job stretching today.